Hi, what I want to show you today is the chat GPT and its ability to handle Commodore 64 basic code. Now, I didn't just want to ask it to write the code by itself because that's been already done by so many people and the code in most cases uh, either barely works or doesn't work at all, so that makes no sense. Uh, instead, I asked chat GPT to help me fix the bug in my code, so yeah, let's see what happened. Okay, so what I've done is I took this um, little example of bouncing ball in Commodore 64 basic and just let me show you how this looks like. It's nothing special, just a basic character bouncing out, uh, uh, bouncing off the borders of the screen. And that's basically it. So <clears throat> the idea was to um, remove this line number 90 and line number 110 so that means there is no border detection um, in the code and to see whether or not uh, the AI will figure this out let's remove them and now we have uh, code that runs without border detection so that means that this poke command will um, keep going out of the screen and making mess um, on the rest of the Commodore 64 memory. So let's try to run it to see how that looks like. And we have our ball going out of the screen and causing um, statement error. So now we will see um, whether ChatGPT can fix this. <coughs> And here it is, my conversation with ChatGPT. So I said, I have a Commodore 64 code and doesn't work. Uh, are we able to fix it? And it says, yeah, okay, what's what's all about? Uh, and I said, it's a bounce ball game, uh, but the ball doesn't bounce. Now, at this point, I didn't send any code. Um, and so it prints out this several tips, um, what to do. Um, but then I send him, I said it, but then I posted the complete code, as you can see, we are missing line 90 and uh, 110, so complete code, but just without border detection. And it prints out immediately, okay, now thanks for sharing the code, based on what you provide, it looks like this code is just moving a single pixel across the screen, rather than ball bouncing around the screen, and it prints out the solution, and it added these two lines to detect the border, so when the ball hits the border, and if I take this code and uh, test it on Commodore 64, which I will do just now. And where is my. Uh, and run it. As you can see, the code works. Now, <clears throat> that's all great because, um, like I said, there was plenty of uh, examples online to solve this problem so this was easy task for, for it but then i said uh, okay it works thank you uh, but i don't like the background color and the color of the ball can you change it so then it started to print um, <laughs> lots of lots of details um, <clears throat> So uh, it says you can change the background of the color by changing the value of the second parameter passed to the poll command at line 20. Uh, it prints out this um, a list of um, available colors. And of course, this is just um, two poke commands to change the background uh, border and the background color, which is fine. But then it begins to mess things up. Um, uh, you can also change the color of the ball by changing the value passed to the poll command at line 50. The value 81 sets the color to white. And here, here, here is a list of available color values for the ball. Now this list uh, makes no sense at all. 
that's first thing and at line 50 what do we have on line 50 is just poking the um, Petsky character on the screen so changing this value to uh, what it suggested uh, it didn't uh, yeah it did um, to 66 it makes no sense um, so yeah it was completely wrong about that um, so I replied did not, I, that did not change the color of the ball that changed the character um, and then it prints out I uh, apologize for the confusion you're right um, that changed the um, changing the value in the line 50 changes the character code not the color <clears throat> to change the color of the ball you need to change the value that corresponds to the color of Commodore 64 color memory so uh, it's right about that and then it tries to uh, tries to do that and it kind of doesn't do any of that because now it adds I don't know um, something that makes no sense now it changes to 65 um, yeah what so here is line 50 on 66 so it didn't do yeah it, it added something just one moment yeah it simply added this new line here and this makes no sense again uh, because this only changes the character uh, okay uh, now I replied background is black but the ball is not red uh, and then it says it looks like there was an error in my previous response and the value I provide for the color of the ball was incorrect to change the color of the ball to red you need to change the value passed to the poke command in line 50 to value 1 which corresponds to color white now this whole sentence is completely wrong um, and I didn't pick, to, to be uh, fair, I didn't pick this up. Uh, th at this point, it kind of switches uh, from color red to color white. And the rest of the conversation is all about how to make a ball white. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, just lots of nonsense. Um, it kind of combines these sentences without actually understanding what what it means um, which is okay but yeah but now it added this so this is actually a um, po command that changes the background color of that Petsky uh, character and it added here as well so on two places and if we run this code <coughs> So let me do just that. If I run this code, where is my device? And you can see what it's doing now. Um, yeah, something is wrong. Um, and we will see what uh, what's happened next. Just let me close the device so yeah um now here it's for this example it says uh, i've changed the value in line 20 to set background color to black and change the value in line 50 to set the initial color of the ball to white the value 81 now uh, line 50 uh, value 81 that's again character that's not color color is defined here on line 60 so okay uh, then in line 60 I've set the color of the character to red the value is 1 now the line 60 the one is, is not the red um, the one is of course white and it's I don't know, it kind of messes everything up. Um, <clears throat> yeah. 
and then uh, I replied the ball is now white um, but the ball uh, leaves traces on the screen and does not remove all position of the ball so yeah and it replies that uh, I apologize I over oversight my in my previous um, response you're right that ball is leaving a trail on the screen because the previous position of the ball is not being cleared okay so uh, then it says to clear the previous position of the ball you can use another poll command to set the color of the previous position to background color before updating the ball position now this is kind of okay uh, you can do that so you just um, the idea behind this is just to color that previous position to the same color as the background so it kind of disappears uh, and here is the updated version of the code now again here it just keep changing the of the color of the petsky character and again um, just put uh, defining as zero to be black um, so but this will not solve our problem um, and the reason is very uh, simple, but uh, the AI simply doesn't <laughs> doesn't get it. Uh, okay, let me let this is the last code that we receive from it, and if I run it again, the same problem. Um, you can see the same problem. Um, so the bug is not not fixed. Now <clears throat> let's continue with the conversation. And I said, okay, uh, still doesn't work, but I fix it. And I changed the line 160 to this. So line 60 goes to 80. Now, if you look at the code on line 160, the AI, it, it jumps back to line 100. And that's right here. So this here is our main loop. Uh, but as you can see, this um, clearing of the previous position of, of the ball is out of the, this main loop and of course it won't, won't work um, <clears throat> but um, I send him the solution kind of okay yeah I fix it so here it is okay and now it kind of um, responds <laughs> to this to my fix and this is completely nonsense um, I'm glad to hear that you were able to fix this issue uh, it's possible that the problem was related to the delay in the for loop not being long enough, which could cause the program to update the screen before the previous position of the ball has been cleared. By changing the go to command in line 160 to go back to line 80, the program will spend more time in the for loop and give the screen more time to update properly. In any case, I'm glad that code is working now. If you if you have another question or anything else, blah 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 blah. Now, <clears throat> I, I'm not really sure how it manages to figure out that now that we are jumping from line 160 to line 80 here. So this should be our main loop. Um, that this for loop has any influence on it so again uh, lots of uh, nonsense um, and okay there is one section um, that's related to Commodore 64 specifically and that is for those colors okay that's fair enough um, it's specific um, system but this this issue here uh, this is general i mean this is not related just to commodore 64 this is just the main loop of the game it's just while loop um, we used go to command to do this but nevertheless this is just infinite loop and it, this clearly shows that this ai really doesn't understand what it's doing um, it just simply tried to mesh <laughs> bunch of information that it has to something that it could have some sense so yeah i'm not really um, happy with this uh, but uh, okay it's fun <laughs> definitely fun to, to play with 
and that's all that I have for you today um, and related to my next videos which will be more uh, hardware oriented uh, and some of them will be repair videos as well because some of my uh, C64 machines do need some attention but luckily I have these guys here to help me out with my repairs um, and I highly recommend that you check out the channels and I will put the links into the description of this video as well well, uh, except one game. I still have one game basic to show you. And uh, until next time, goodbye.